Hi everyone, this is the video showing you the integration by parts. Before we proceed to example, let's look at how we derive the formula of integration by part. Now we recall back the formula of uh, product rules when you are uh, differentiating a uh, function in the form of u multiplied by v. You have a u dv dx plus v du dx. This is how we uh, uh, how we process the, how we uh, apply the product rule. So this is the product rule for the differentiation. Now from here, I would like to derive the formula for the integration by part. Just uh, integrate both sides. And when it comes to integration, you must have a dx at the end of your integral. And uh, later on, I'm going to simplify this, this side, the left-hand side. Simplify this side as if that the dx all you cancel out because the integration and differentiation, they are the uh, uh, reverse operation. That is why when you integrate a differentiate function, you get back your uv. Alright, you get back this function. And uh, inter uh, for the first term at the right-hand side, as if that the dx is cancelled off, then you have your u dv. For the second term, the same thing, same similar concept you apply, just uh, as if that you say that you you are actually simplified it by cancelling the dx, then you left uh, v du. So now I make this as a subject. I make this term as a subject. I will have a u dv equals to u v. You move this term over to the other side. You have negative integrate v du. Alright, so now you have this, and this I will call it as a formula of integration by part. So once you have any question in the form of a uh, multiply, something multiplied by something, for example, x multiplied by exponential function, and you're not going to use substitution method for this question because substitution method will be failed, then we'll proceed to the integration by part. When you have uh, this type of function, you are going to take uh, one of the function become u, the other function become dv. Right? Later, I'll show you the detail. Before this, all right, I will uh, show uh, tells you one um how to say, is a it's a guide for us to to set which one to be the u, which one to be the dv. So here is a word lopet. For the lopet, l o, it stands for the log. P stands for polynomial and E stands for exponential and the T lastly stands for the three goal function. This means that if I have a question x e power of negative x dx, which one to be the u? Either would be x or e power of negative x. We do not know, right? So now we refer to the log back. Which one comes first? Now I have polynomial. I have exponential. See or not? Polynomial come first before the exponential. So it means that the priority for the polynomial to become u, okay, will be applied. All right, we try one question. Try one example, you will see what I'm saying. First, uh, refer to log pad. I want to set my u and dv. All right, one will be u, one function will be u, the other function will be dv. Okay, so which one be the u? Look at the log back. P is polynomial. E is exponential. So P come before exponential. So I will set the u as x, which is my polynomial. And the dv will be exponential. And remember that whoever become the dv, it will be together with the dx. Alright? The dx, one you set, uh, once you set the u, the rest of the uh, uh, parts in your function will become the dv, including the dx. Alright, after that, after you have set the u, you find your du dx. We got 1. Then this gives the du equals to dx. For the dv, we are going to integrate. For the u, we differentiate. For dv, we are going to integrate. Integrate dv, you have v. Then integrate the e power of uh, negative x, you have uh, 
e power of negative f divided by negative 1, which you have negative e negative x. After we have done this, now we have proceed to formula uv minus integrate v du, which I have derived just now from the product rule. From the product rule, I have derived it. U integrate u dv is equal to uv minus integrate v du. So I just write down this is uv minus integrate the v du. In this, in here, we just find out what is our u. Ah, what is our u? The u is x. Let's copy down. And what is the v? V is a negative e negative x. Let's multiply, right? So e negative e negative x minus integrate v du. Our v shows here is negative e negative x. And the du will be substituted as a dx. Ah, then now you have this. So the, for the first term, already done, everything nicely done, you just copy down, simplify. Second term, you need to integrate. Alright, I will simplify the uh, sign first. I got positive. Then integrate e power of negative x with respect to x. Again, the first term, you just copy down. The second term, you're going to integrate. Integrate e power of negative x, you have an e power of negative x over negative 1 plus constant c. Finally, we need to simplify. Just simplify it. Negative x, e negative x minus positive negative, you get negative. e power of negative x plus c. And of course, if you want to factor out the e negative x, you might do so. You get a negative x minus um, 1. Or you may factor out a negative or you just leave this as your answer. For this example, I will um you will set your u and the dv to go, uh, follow the law pair. So u dv u will be a polynomial which is your six x because uh, according to the law pair polynomial come first. Okay, compared to the exponential and the dv. After you have set your u, the rest including the dx will become your dv. You will have a e five x dx. As your dv. For the u, you're going to differentiate, you get 6, meaning that the du later on is going to be substituted as a 6dx. And for the dv, we're going to integrate, we have a v equals to a e5x over 5. Okay, after that, we will substitute into the formula of integration by part, that is uv minus uh, integrate v du uv, find from here, u is your 6x, v is your e power of 5x over 5. So just write down 6e, 6x, e, 5x over 5. This is your uv minus integrate v du. So just copy down the v. du will be your 6dx. Again, the 6 I pull out. I have dx at the end of my integral. Simplify it, you have a 6x e power of 5x over 5 minus 6 over 5. Pull out the 1 over 5. You got 6 over 5 out here, there. And integrate the e power of 5x. So integrate e power of 5x. Again, now we apply the formula. 6 over 5. Integrate e power of 5x, you have e power of 5x over 5. Plus constant c, then you need to simplify. You have your 6 uh, over 25, e power of 5x. And of course, you can uh, factor out the common factor. You have a 6, you can factor out. You got 5, you can over 5, factor out. And factor out the e power of 5x as well. You get the x inside in the bracket. And for this, you have a negative uh, 1 over 5. So when you expand it, you get back this. Expand it, you get back the second term. Alright, that's it. For the third example, again, we will refer to log back and set our u and dv. Firstly, we have our u as polynomial, alright, so it's x plus 2, and the dv is my exponential function. 
including my DX. Alright, then uh, you can shade your U with respect to X, you get 1. This means the U equals to DX. Then integrate this side, you have a V equals to E power of 3X over 3. Once you have this, you uh, proceed to formula uv minus integrate v v u. From here, find out where is your uv. Just multiply them. x plus 2 multiplied by e power of 3x over 3. That is your uv. Minus integrate v v u. The v will be e power of 3x over 3. And du will be dx. This is a simple question. Just copy down the first term. First term already done. Then we take out the 1 over 3. Integrating this uh, e power of 3x, uh, you get the e power of 3x over 3. Plus constant c. Then you can further simplify. Or you might take out the, you might factor out the common factor. For me, I factor out the e power of 3x. Factor out 1 over 3. What I have in the bracket is uh, x, plus, x plus 2. Minus 1 over 3 plus C. Then you can simplify 2 by taking the 2 minus 1 over 3. Okay, you got a 5 over 3 plus C. For this question, again, according to law pet, we set our U. And the dv, all right. U will be exponential. Uh, sorry, u will be our polynomial, and the dv will be our exponential function, which is your two power of x dx. Differentiating the u, you have a one. The u equals to dx. Integrate the dv, you have v. Integrate two power of s, you have two power of s over log two, according to the formula. Yeah? Then uh, follow the uh, formula uv minus integrate v du. Going to take the u multiply by v, which is a u multiply by v. That will be x multiply by 2 power of x over log 2 minus integrate v du. Your v will be 2 power of x over log 2. Dx, uh, du will be dx. Then next, we're going to write down the first term because it already done everything uh, or this sector eh, for the first term. Second term, I'm going to factor out the 1 over log 2. And again, we need to integrate the 2 power of x. So you have a 1 over log 2. Just copy down. Integrate the 2 power of x. Again, I have a 2 power of x over log 2 plus c. Then for the next step, we can actually factor out the common factor, which are, I look at the, these two terms. This is the second term. This is the first term. The two terms are containing 1 over log 2. So I take out the log 2. Take out 1 over log 2. And uh, both terms also containing 2 power of x. I factor out 2 power of x. Finally, I have my x in the bracket, and uh, this I have uh, 1 over log 2 for the second. Alright, that's my question, uh, that's my answer. So for these uh, four examples that I showed here in this video, is uh, they are all consist of a polynomial function and uh, multiplied by exponential function. Uh, you can see that A, B, C, D all containing polynomial and exponential. Polynomial, exponential. So for the next video, I'm going to talk about the um, using partial, uh, using integration by part to integrate a function which involves the log. Right. Thank you for watching.